so we already have the uh, there is not something new in the uh, potentiometer we already have that concept so we will directly do the questions so that uh, we can have the practice we already know there are two formula based we have one in potentiometer if we see in potentiometer Basically, we have the formula for comparison of EMFs. Comparison of EMFs. And for that, we have the formula like for comparison of EMF, which is. <clears throat> Even upon E2, even upon E2 is equal to L1 upon L2. So these are the length corresponding to null points of EMF E1 and E2. And we also have the formula for measurement of internal resistance. Internal resistance. For internal resistance, we have formulas like this R L1 by L2 minus 1. So these two formula, I think all of you know this formula, you are familiar with. There's nothing new formula in potentiometer. The uh, main concept will come from practice. So we will do some, uh, we will do practice uh, uh, of some questions based on potentiometer, then we will do for meter bridge so all of you know this formula right anyone having doubt in this formula how it comes i am not going to derive it all you in your class you know in your 12th class lecture you all know these formula right comparison of emf and for measurement of internal resistance l1 l2 corresponding to balancing lengths of emfs e1 and e2 so based on that let us do some questions first so So let us do some questions based on comparison of EMF. So let us do this question number 108 first. It's based on potentiometer, right? Huh? So do the question number 108. All of you attempt this question number 108. This is NEET 2016 question and it is based on that formula. So all of you try this.
are all of you trying this question? Yes, sir. <clears throat> So can you explain this question? Yes. Anyone have got any answer? Let us see what it says. According to the question, a potentiometer wire is 100 centimeter long and a constant potential difference is maintained across it. So what actually a potentiometer is? Basically, it is a simple wire and connected through some cells or kind of and uh, kind of we have like some kind of balancing is obtained so we have some kind of like galvanometer and kind of jockey to balance the length so what it says two cells are connected in series first to support one and then is opposite direction so we are connecting two cells suppose in first case we are connected in series right support means we are connecting in the such that they are connected like this and in that case when they are supporting each other the balancing point is obtained at like 50 centimeter or when they are connected in the sense of opposite sense it says 50 centimeter and when they are in opposite direction it is 10 centimeter so suppose the cells are connected like this opposite means they are not in series sense they are connected with opposite polarity so in that case the length of 10 is like 10 cm. So we know that when they are connected with same polarity, the MF is E1 plus C2. And when they are connected with opposite polarity, the MF is E1 minus C2. So we know that EMF is proportional to length, right? So here what will happen? <coughs> E1 plus E2, if we say E1 plus E2 will be proportional to 50 and E1 minus E2 will be proportional to 10, right? The length is given as 10. So we will take the ratio, we will take like E1 plus E2 divided by E1 minus E2. And that will be equal to 50 upon 10, that is 5. So from here we can find the ratio of E1 and E2, right? We can write it like that. E1 plus E2 is equal to 5E1 minus 5E2. So from here we will get like 4E1. 4E1 will be equal to 6e2 right so from here we will get e1 by e2 will be equal to 6 by 4 it means 3 upon 2 so we can have the correct option is b have everyone understood it any doubt please ask anyone having any doubt please ask So basically, we have to uh, do nothing, only just we have to for sale when they are supporting each other, we have to take the EMF as E1 plus E2 and when they are in opposite direction, E1 minus E2 and it will be directly proportional to length. For more EMF, length should be more 
for lesser emf length should be lesser and then we have to take the ratio if you have understood it any one having any doubt please ask Okay. Now also the meter bridge. The next instrument is meter bridge, which also acts on the same principle. What happens in a meter bridge is what happens in a meter bridge is that also work on the same concept. Like in meter bridge, we have basically uh, one standard resistance and one unknown resistance. Like we have one unknown resistance and one standard resistance, like this. And we have some one meter of wire, hundred centimeter bridge means the total length of the wire will be one meter. It means hundred centimeter. And we have a kind of jockey and like suppose the balancing length is 11 from one side then balancing length will be the length will be 100 minus 11 from other side and the same concept of wheat stone bridge is basically apply so for balance what we will take we will take the cross product of this and this will be directly equal to cross product of this and this it means r into 100 minus l1 will be equal to s into l1 so from here we can calculate the unknown resistance r is equal to s l1 by 100 minus l1. s is the standard resistance that we already know l1 is the balancing length which we know which will be given in the question so from that we can find the unknown resistance r anyone having thought in it so this no, is the basically work on the principle of with a stone bridge so based on that let us do some basic questions then we will do some tricky questions so let us see let us do a question based on meter bridge let us do the question number 105 is based on a meter bridge concept so all of your time Question number 105. All of you attempt this question. This is a 2014 question.
let us see what it says. It says that the resistance in two arm, the resistance in two arms of a meter bridge is five ohm and four ohm respectively. When the resistance R is shunted with equal resistance, the new balance point is 1.611. Then we have to find the resistance R. So what we have to do is for first case, for first case. We can write 5 into 100 minus L1 is equal to R into L1. R into L1, right? So, this we can say equation 1. This we can say equation. Now, in second case, what happens is when the resistance r is shunted with equal resistance so what we are doing is shunting shunting is basically done shunting means we have to uh, connect a parallel resistance with a given resistance that is called shunting so in second case what happens suppose we have connected an equal resistance r in parallel with the first resistance. so what will happen their equivalent resistance will become r by 2 and it says that the new balancing point becomes 1.6 l1 so instead of this now the length becomes 1.6 l1 so this will also will be equal to 100 minus 1.6 l1 right so we can write the equation for second set case what will be that that will be 5 into 100 minus 1.6 l1 that is equal to r by 2 into 1.6 l1 right so now what we have to find we have to find the resistance r right we have to find the resistance r so for that Let us see this equation is 2. This equation is second. Call it as equation number 2. Now we have two equation 2 unknown. So obviously we can find the correct value. So for that, what we have to do is we can find L1, then we can find r also right so what we will do we will divide equation one and two so from from one divided by two what we will get five into hundred minus l1 divided by hundred minus 1.6 l1 and that will be equal to l1 upon r and l1 will be cancel out so that will be equal to 2 upon one point six it means 20 upon 60 so from here we can calculate L1. So we will get it as 100 minus L1 divided by 100 minus 1.6 L1 that is equal to this is also 5 right. So 5 and 5 will be cancel out. So we will get 5 upon 4 we'll get it as 5 upon 4 so from here we can find l1 this is 1.6 l1 so 400 
minus 4 L1 will be equal to 500 minus 8 L1. So from here we will get 4 L1 will be equal to 100. So from here we will get L1 is equal to 25 centimeter. Now from 1, now we will put this in 1, now from 1. Now we will put this value in equation 1. So from 1 we can get 5 into 100 minus 25 is equal to R into 25. So from 1 what we will get 5 into 100 minus 25 is equal to R into 25. So from here we can calculate R. 5 into 75. will be equal to r into 25 and we will get it as r equal to 15 so the correct option is b all of you understood this any doubt please ask Just wait and <clears throat> just Everyone understood it? Any doubt? Anyone having any doubt? No, sir. Okay, all right. So this is how we should proceed for question based on meter bridge. So Let us do some more question based on potentiometer and metal bridge. Sir, I have a doubt. In the uh -huh, yes. Question. Sir, how we will know which resistance should be stunted? I mean, shunted. Uh, it says in the question, like it is given in the question that when the resistance R, it is given here. You can see it is given here that when the resistance R is shunted. With equal resistance. So the actually R resistance is this one. So it is okay. clearly mentioned in this. So let us do some more questions. Let us do this question number 106. All of you attempt question number 106. Very easy question, I think.
said option d pomoji word option option d sir so let us see it says that balancing length in meter bridge the balancing length from the left hand standard resistance of 1 ohm is in the right gap so basically what happens here is we have two resistances one unknown resistance let us say r and in the right side we have a standard resistance and suppose this is the wire so in a meter bridge the balancing length from the left end and it says the standard resistance is of 1 ohm is found to be 20 cm so it says that here the balancing length is found to be at 20 cm from left end the value of unknown resistance so what is the value of this so obviously if this is 20 this should be 80 cm in a meter bridge we know that total length is 100 cm so from here we can write 80 into r should be equal to 1 into 20 so from here we can calculate r will be equal to 2 upon 8 1 upon 4 and it is 0.25 understood everyone your answer was right the correct answer is d everyone got understood this d yes, 1999 question all right so let us do some je questions based on that and So let us do question number to this question number ten. This is J main question two thousand eighteen. So all of you attend this question number ten. This is G main question 2018 and 15 or April 50 2018 question.
So let us see what it says. Anyone got any answer? Okay, let us see. It says that in a meter bridge as shown in figure, it is given that the value of y is given. It is given as 12.5. And the balancing is obtained at 39.5. Already it is given. So balancing is obtained at 39.5. Already. This element is given as 39.5 from the end day. Okay. By job. After interchanging the resistance X and Y, a new balance length is found to be at L2 from and A. What are the new values of X and L2? What are the values of? So first we will calculate the value of X using the given condition, using the given condition in the first case. Then we will find the value of L2 using the given conditions in second case. So first case is already given in the diagram. So it's it, this question seems to be difficult, but it is very easy. What we have to do, we have to just apply the concept of meter bridge. Here, the we can write x into 100 minus L1 is equal to y into L1, right? And in the question, L1 is given. <coughs> so, x into 100 minus what is L1? 39.5. And which is equal to y. What is y is given in the question? 12.5. And what is L1? 39.5. So from here we can calculate x. What is that? So from here we can calculate the value of x. x will be equal to 12.5 into 39.5 divided by 60.5 minus 39.5 will be 60.5 so what will be that 125 into 395 divided by 605 so we can calculate it like this 1 to 5 into <clears throat> 1 to 5 into 79 divided by 605 and it will be equal to 25 into 79 divided by 1 to 1. We can calculate this. All of you calculate this. What is the value? Twenty five upon one two one. So we can calculate this. Is 25 into 79 divided by 1 to 1. Twenty-five into All of you check once calculation is it correct? Any doubt here? X into 100 minus L1 is equal to Y into L1. L1 is 39.5. So from here we will get X is equal to 12.5 into 39.5 divided by 60.5.
So from here, what we can take get x is equal to one two five into thirty nine point five divided by this. So okay. Here there is a calculation mistake. If we are taking like this, all of you check the calculation. Here we are giving one two five, right? So one two five three nine five divided by six zero five. Now when we are writing seventy nine here, it should be here. It should be one two one, right? Here it should not be six zero five. If we are taking it, it should be. Here it should be one, two, one, right? So now it will be like this. So it should be one, two, five. Right. Now we have to calculate this one, two, five into seventy nine. One, two, five into seventy nine divided by one, two, one. Also check for power of ten. It is one, two, five. Sir, I got sixteen. We also have like it should be twelve point five, right? One point will also remain, right? One Sir, point, I got eight point one six. Yeah, yeah. We will get eight point one six. So we will get it as eight point one six. So now we are having two eight point one six ohm. So obviously these are not correct. Now we have to check for B and D. So now in second part it says that after interchanging the resistance X and Y, the new balance length is found to be L two. So what will happen is when we will interchange. The balancing length will also interchange, right? So here the length was sixty point five in the right side. So when we will interchange length, now L two become L one, right? So now the length will become sixty point five. Getting my point? In the first case, the remaining length, this length was sixty point five, right? So when you interchange this. the right part will come to the left part and left part will go to the right part so the right portion will be 39.5 and the left portion will be 60.5 initially the left portion was 39.5 and right portion was 60.5 so when we will interchange it will reverse so now leave length will become 60.5 your correct answer is b Are all of you getting what I am trying to say? So we are interchanging the resistance, right? Not the yeah. What it says that when we are interchanging the resistance, length will also change, right? Since the value of resistance are given, value of x is constant. It is not going to change. So what it says that after interchanging the resistances x and y, a new balance is found to be L two, right? Like this, you can see. <clears throat> We know that value of x is not going to be changed; it is fixed. So, value of x is fixed, which is eight point one six. It is not going to change. So, when we will put y here and x here. So to balance the length, what will happen? This length will also interchange. Now what will happen? The jockey will be move like this. The jockey will come like this. So now jockey will balance somewhere here, so that this length will become sixty point five, and this length will become thirty nine point five, so that Initially, what was that? Initially, what happens? X into 
60.5 was equal to y into like 39.5 right so in next case when we are putting x on the right size then this condition again should follow right so this length is l2 now right so y into 100 minus l1 right l2 so obviously l2 should be 60.5 then then in that case it will become 39.5 we have to get the same equation right but here the name is changed now the name becomes l2 so for that l2 should be 60.5 then and only then we can get the first case understood what i am trying to say yes sir. so when you are interchanging the resistances length the simple thing is that length is also interchange so don't try so you know in such question don't you just go to solving the question so you will it's a trap question so you don't need to solve anything just you apply your concept and directly you can say that it should be 60.5 getting my point so this is how we should go for the uh, meter bridge question this was j 2018 question let us do one more question then we will move to the magnetism chapter <clears throat> so this is the last concept of this chapter anyone having any doubt please ask all of you are getting So let us do this is 2003 question j question some so all of you attend this question number 70 All of you trying this question? Yes. Krishna, Samaira.
so let us see what it says <clears throat> in the shown arrangement of the experiment of the meter bridge if ac correspond to null deflection right of galvanometer is x so value of ac is given as x what would be its value if the radius of wire ab is doubled so what will happen if we double the radius of wire ab so let us see so it says that initially the null deflection was at a distance x from end a now suppose we have doubled the radius of wire ab so what will happen to the null deflection so let us see so in first case what we can write suppose uh, R1 into this length CB should be equal to for null deflection should be equal to R2 into X, right? So from here we can get R1 by R2 is equal to X upon CB. So so how X actually how X comes? X is basically comes from resistance of AT AC part and uh, CB comes from resistance of BC part. We know that resistance is directly proportional to length. So actually R1 by R2 is equal to RAC by RBC, but we know that resistance is directly proportional to length. That is why we are asked, uh, we are putting uh, X and CB right now what happens so this is the first case right so this is the first case i can say this is as equation one now in case two what will happen r1 y r2 will remain same so obviously we are changing the thickness we are changing the radius so the resistance will also change for ac so rac dash upon rbc dash now rho we know that resistance is rho l by a so r length ac upon area of cross section suppose a and again will be rho into bc upon suppose area of cross section is a so both will cancel out the area of cross section will be cancelled out here a and a will be cancelled out so it will be equal to again it will be equal to ac by ac by bc or ac means x so x upon cb we can say bc or cb so if you can see here again the balancing length remains same x actually due to ratio the area of cross section get cancelled out here and we know that here r1 r2 remains same so obviously x and cb should also remain same so here the value of uh, ac is not going to be changed and it will remain x understood yes sir. because of ratio the area part will be cancelled out so whether we are doubling it we are whether we are tripling it or we are making half of it the value of uh, the balancing length will remain same it also looks like obvious if we are changing the length it's not going to since the change is for uniformly for whole wire so it will not affect the length of uh, balancing all of you understood this yes sir yes sir. all right so this was the uh, question based on we have done a lot of question based on meter bridge and uh, 
kind of potentiometer also so now for remaining question i will give you as assignment some more questions are are uh, all of you getting assignment or, or downloading from portal have you got assignments actually yes, after sir. every class i am putting the assignment so try to solve those question when we will solve more and more questions you can you have you will practice a lot you will get better idea or better concept so rest of the question i will put in the assignment so i am starting the next chapter that is magnetism and uh, moving charges at magnetism i will give you some basic concepts then we will do questions so any doubt till now in the discussion of this chapter you, if you have any doubt you can ask you will practice uh, generally if you are not going uh, not doing much practice or sufficient practice generally you will not you will not have doubts right if you will do more and more practice you will have doubt and if you will ask doubts your concepts will be clarified so try to solve more and more questions with the uh, number of question actually the concept built or your you know, you are uh, getting the concepts better and better is directly proportional to number of questions you are doing you will do more and more questions if you are doing lot of lot practice you will get better and better idea of doing question actually you will have you will get idea when you will have your question in front of you you will get idea how to proceed the concepts we all know generally we know the concept we know the formula but we don't know how to apply those formula in the given question and that comes from practice if you will do lot of practices uh, you will instantly you will get the idea how to proceed how to apply a given particular form right so these things comes from the practice okay so moving to the next chapter that is chapter 4 moving charges and magnetism moving charges and <clears throat> magnetism so as the name suggests it is very clear that we are going to deal with the magnetic field and uh, how magnetic fields are produced how magnetic fields are created how it can be created so there are two parts of the question in first part we are going to assume that magnetic field is present and we will see the behavior of a charged particle in the given uh, situation and in the second part we will do with how magnetic field is produced so in first section of the lecture we will assume magnetic field is there magnetic field is present and we will see the behavior of charged particle or a wire behavior of behavior of charged particle particle or a current carrying wire in a given magnetic field right and in the second section of the lecture we are going to study the reason reason behind production of magnetic field or how magnetic field is produced reason behind production of magnetic field or how magnetic field is produced that we are going to study in the second part of the lecture so first we will assume that magnetic field is present and we will see the lorentz force we all know if a moving charged particle is if a charged particle is moving in a magnetic field it is acting upon acted by magnetic force which is called lorentz force and we will see the behavior of charged particle and we will do some question based on that so first we will see uh behavior of charged particle behavior of charged particle 
behavior of charged particle in a magnetic in a magnetic field so we all know that generally uh, we all know that uh, if a magnetic field is in inward direction we are representing by cross product cross thing and if magnetic field is in outward direction we represent it by dot and we all know that the notation we represent a magnetic field b is a vector quantity so all this thing i am not going to uh, dictate this i assuming that this already you know so i will generally come to the uh, the formula part that is we already know that if a charged particle is moving in a magnetic field the lorentz force or the magnetic force acting on a charged particle is q into v cross v right where v is the basically suppose we have a magnetic field like this in somewhere or a charged particle is moving with a velocity v suppose we have a point charged particle q and its velocity is v and it is making an angle theta with the magnetic field then force acting on the charged particle due to magnetic field is q into v cross b and if you see the magnitude magnitude of the force f is equal to q v b sin theta right so this we already know force is equal to q v b sin theta magnitude of force if we talk about direction so direction is given by right hand rule if we talk about direction of the force so direction so basically direction is given by right hand rule so you have some idea uh, you may have studied in the vector i will dictate you again suppose what right hand rule says suppose like we have x axis y axis and z axis like this and suppose uh, v is along x axis and magnetic field is along y axis then v cross v v cross b will be along z axis right v cross b will be along z axis so actually uh, uh, how right hand rule is applied in this uh, how we apply the right hand rule what we do is suppose uh, your thumb of right hand is along this direction and you are curling along finger like this you are curling your finger from v to b you are taking your finger from v to b then in the direction of thumb the direction of thumb gives the direction of magnetic field and if you see here f is equal to basically this is equal to f q is a scalar quantity so if you can see here f will be perpendicular to both v as well as b right b as well as so f will be perpendicular to both v and b getting my point all of you understood the direction of v cross b or q v yeah. cross b and if you see the magnitude the magnitude is also comes like q v b sin theta Here theta is the angle between b and b right also some special cases like some cases general cases if you can see like if v theta is 0 degree if theta equal to 0 degree obviously sin theta will be equal to zero right so in that case force will be zero or if theta is 180 degree in that case also force will be equal to zero so if a charged particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field or anti parallel to the magnetic field in that case magnetic field never exerts force or third case if charged particle is at rest suppose a charged particle is at rest in that case also magnetic force will be zero so magnetic field uh, uh, magnetic field exerts no force if a charged particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field or anti parallel to the magnetic field or charged particle is at rest a magnetic field only exerts force if charged particle is moving in the magnetic field it exerts no force on a charged particle which is at rest 
all of you understood this anyone having any doubt please ask sir what is the third case third case is if charged particle is at rest like velocities of the charged particle is zero if the charged particle is in a magnetic field but it is at rest v is zero right it means the charged particle is at rest if a charged particle is at rest and if you have magnetic field there then magnetic field uh, will not exert any force on a charged particle which is at rest got it yes sir so let us do some question based on lorentz force then we will do uh, some behavior of the charged particle in a magnetic field. so let us see So first we will do some question based on Lorentz force Q V cross P. Then we will see the motion of a charged particle in a magnetic field. Then we will move to Biot-Schwarz law and how magnetic field can be created due to current carrying wire, ampere cell gator law, and all that. Then at the end of the lecture, we will see galvanometer and their convergence. So this is the basic idea. Which we are going to discuss in this chapter. So, first, two very basic questions based on that. So, let us do this question number eight. Do the question number eight. Do some more easy question. Okay, let us do first do the question number eight, then we will do some questions. So, all of you attempt this question number eight.
Are you trying? All of you? Yes, sir. Let us see what it says. The magnetic force, the magnetic force acting on a charged particle of charge. So the value of charge is given as minus two microcoulomb in a magnetic field of two tesla. So magnetic field is given at two tesla, acting in y direction. So basically, if we talk about the direction of magnetic field, it is given as in y direction, right? Velocity of the particle is also given. So what is velocity? Velocity is given as 2i plus 3j into 10 to the 6. Sir, so I think it's uh, option D. You're getting D? Yes. Sir. Okay. Let us see. So how we can calculate the force? F should be equal to Q into V cross V, right? We will apply that formula and we'll put the value minus 2 microcoulomb into V. V is like 2i plus 3j, 2i plus 3j and cross the magnetic field is given as 2j. So we have to apply cross product of a vector minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and uh, also there is a 10 to the power 6 in the velocity. So into 10 to the power 6 will come. Now we have to uh, do cross product of vector for these vectors like i cross j we know that it is k. So we will first do cross product over this and this i cross j. So it will be 4, 2 into 2, i cross j is equal to k. So 2 cross 2 k. And then we have to apply for j cross j. So j cross j, i cross j is k and j cross j is 0 vector, right? So Again, fill this as zero. So we'll get it as uh, minus eight, minus eight k. It means we can say eight newton in negative z direction. Yes, this is the correct answer. Got it? 
So this is the very basic questions based on the uh, force on a magnetic field, force on a charged particle moving the magnet. All of you understood this? Very easy question. Yes, sir. Okay. So sometimes we generally get like uh, velocity and magnetic field both have the components of you know i j and k component so in that case to find the cross product we have to apply the determinant method you all know the determinant method right to find cross product of a vector so in that yes. case the thing become little complex since we have to find the magnetic field in terms of component but we can find it it's not that much stuff so let us do one j question based on this then we will see the behavior of the charged particle in the magnetic field So let us do the question number third. This is J Main two thousand twenty question. So all of you try this question number third. So here is that what I was trying to say here if you, if you can see we have three components right we have three components in velocity as well as magnetic field so here what you have to do you have to do the you have to use the concept of determinant method to find the cross product so I am doing it we don't have much time left so let us uh, I will do it so let us see what it says a charge but this is Jamin 2020 question so it says that a charged particle is carrying a charge of one microcoulomb is moving with velocity of this. So velocity is given as V is equal to 2i plus Tj plus 4k. Right. If an external magnetic field, value of magnetic field is given as 5i plus 3j minus 6k into 10 to the power minus 3 tesla so magnetic field is given like this exists in the region where particle is moving then the force on the particle is this so we have to find the value of it. so force on the particle is given like this f into 10 to the power minus 9 so we have to find the value of f so basically we have to find the force on the charge is also given value of charge is given charge q is one micro coulomb and it tends to minus six coulomb so directly 
we can apply f is equal to q into v cross v so here basically our uh, main aim is to find v cross v and for that we will use the uh, vector method right so i am testing it again so that we have to find first v cross v that is the main task here so we will apply the determinant method we will write i j k since you know if you will start multiplying each and every term you will get nine terms which is very difficult so just you write the components 2 3 and 4 and 5 3 and minus 6 so we'll get v cross b as i minus 18 minus 12 minus j you will get minus 12 minus 20 and plus k you will get 6 minus all of you understood this how i got this i think yes, sir. all right so it will be minus 30 i plus 32 j and minus 9 k this is v cross v so force will be q into v cross v and it tend to go minus 6 into this one so we will for to find the force we will just up multiply by 10 to the power minus 6 so and the force is given like this force is given equal to f into 10 to the power minus 9 so from here if you divide by 10 to the power minus 9 force is given at 10 to the power minus 9 and Achha, there is also 10 per minus 3 right in the value of magnetic field in the value of magnetic yes, field it's also multiply of so it will automatically come 10 to power minus 9 so your value of force will be this right minus 30i 32g minus 9k i think b will be correct answer getting my point how short we got the answer you know if you will try to solve every part find the multiply and you will get nine terms all of you understood this yes, how we sir. got yes, this sir. just you have to do v cross b and 10 to the power minus 9 power automatically come come so you have to just compare 